oh, um, hey guys, welcome to my video blog. This is my first blog about my pregnancy. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, I've been sharing a lot of crazy things that go on with me, but I think that this would be a better way to share with you guys instead of blowing your Facebooks up. So some of the things I'm I'm gonna go over really quick. Um, I'm Nicole. I'm 27 years old. Okay, so this is kind of like a pre planned pregnancy. Okay, let's. Um, I was trying for several years to try and get pregnant because I really wanted to be a mom before I was 30. That's just my personal uh, my personal goal or wish is what I wanted. And I tried for a while and it really just wasn't happening for me. So I kind of decided to take a break from it. And like they say, things always happen when you're not expecting them. Um, I kind of just decided like, okay, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to get like my fit body and going to be fit and toned and bikini body and everything like that, that, you know, us women always wish for. Um, so, so I, my fiance and I, we decided to start juicing and we were juicing and eating healthy and I was working out like every day, but I was also having pool parties and hanging out with my friends and relaxing and it was summertime. And all of a sudden one day, um, I remember I reached out to, it was my friend Joanna. I reached out to her and this might be TMI. But I remember saying like, oh my gosh, like my my boobs are really hurting and they feel weird and they're starting to kind of like change. And I was super scared because I like Googled it and I was like, I think I might have like breast cancer or something. So I was really, really scared. Um, and then I started telling her like my symptoms, like I'm so tired and you know, I'm, I'm just not myself and I'm kind of like moody and I'm worried. Like what should, what do you think I should do? And as far as my menstrual cycles, my menstrual cycles have always been like a roller coaster. Like they do their own thing. They come when they want, they go when they want. Like it's never been, it's never ever been consistent. And I wasn't on birth control because I was trying to get pregnant for the longest time. So I went and I, I finally got insurance because I was fighting it forever. So I finally got insurance and I made a doctor's appointment and she leaves the room, comes back in. And then she tells me that I'm six and a half weeks pregnant. And I was like, I had like mixed emotions because I was like, oh my God, like I've been trying for so long to get pregnant and then I give up and it happens. And um, so yeah, I had actually just helped throw a baby shower for one of my best friends. And I was super excited because she was having another girl. And I think like little girls are so cool because you get to dress them up like in the little tutus and a whole bunch of fun stuff like that. Like, oh, I can't wait. So, yeah, I was ex excited, and I was like, okay, six and a half weeks, like, that's crazy. Like, I didn't even, I had no clue. So it completely changed my life. Um, I actually, I work mostly from home. I do marketing and brand ambassadoring, and uh, I was a promotional model. So me getting this pregnancy body, of course, I wasn't going to be able to do my promotional modeling anymore because I didn't look like a promotional model and I'll show you guys my belly in a little bit too um, so anyways fast forward I'm actually 31 weeks pregnant now Saturday I'll be 32 weeks um, some of the things that I just wanted to tell you that I'm experiencing this week I'm experiencing um, and I've only been getting it this week like shortness of breath I really feel like if I've if I've been like carrying around or sleeping with uh, an acne brick like the ones from the cartoons I feel like I'm sleeping with an acne brick on my belly and so it's hard to get into any kind of comfortable position so if you haven't already and you're pregnant go get a pregnancy pillow because it will definitely make like the biggest difference in the world I didn't think it would but I got one and it really really did make a big difference um, and excuse my hair guys I know it's really a mess but I was running around today um, what else am I experiencing? Oh, I have one foot that 
is I, I knew people said that your feet will swell, but I have one foot that's swollen and the other one isn't. And it's kind of weird because it's about a half a size bigger than the other one. So I'm actually wearing a size seven shoe now and not a six or six and a half anymore. And I do a lot of, I'm actually on a performance bachata dance team. So <laughs> it's really weird because one of my shoes fits me a lot snugger than the other one. Like I really need to break in the other side, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to stay as active as I can through this pregnancy. Um, I've gained a total of 12 pounds as of, um, as of a couple of days ago, I've gained a total of 12 pounds. I'm still trying to fit in like 30 minutes of some kind of activity, like whether it be cleaning the house or going out for a walk. I'm trying to fit in like 30 minutes a day of activity. And then I also have my dance team practices, which is about two hours. And my goal is to perform until I'm eight months pregnant. And then I'm going to give it a rest until I have the baby. We have picked a baby name. We've decided on Camila Amor. So I'm excited for her to get here. And so the other thing that is kind of embarrassing and maybe your friends won't tell you but I'm gonna tell you you're gonna start growing like your hormones are crazy when you're pregnant like my hair has always been really thick and long but it's just growing like three times as fast and my nails I actually cut my nails if you can see but they were like like coffin nails like super long like really really long and I kept like itching because, you know, they're growing. I kept itching at night, so I needed to cut my nails. But your nails will grow super long. Your hair is going to grow super long. Um, but hair everywhere. Like, literally, and it might be TMI, but you're watching this video probably because you're pregnant. We're thinking about getting pregnant. Um, your underarms, you're going to have to shave your underarms and your legs, like, every single day. Because it just... It grows back like within a couple of hours. It's insane. My belly, I've grown hair on my belly and gosh, I hope it falls off after the baby. Um, but yeah, like no midriffs because it's growing hair and I think it's kind of weird, but it's part of being pregnant, I guess. And um, my lower back, I do have pain to my lower back. And then those things that Charlie horses. I get Charlie horses like three times a week when I wake up and I stay super hydrated. I promise um, you're going to be thirsty as a camel and I do stay super hydrated, but I still wake up like with a Charlie horse and it is so painful. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video and I'm going to show you my baby bump at 31 weeks. Um, my plans tonight, tonight I need to make the what's in my hospital bag um list and i actually need to still plan out my baby shower so tonight i'm excited to look at invitation ideas i want to go with like pink and purple and ballerina or dancer theme so oh, i'm so excited all right guys let me show you my baby bump so this is camila from the front and okay this thing might actually be hiding it so let me And this is me from the side. So luckily I haven't got any stretch marks yet, but I do have like these green veins that come down the sides right here. And I'm not sure what they are, but it might just be from her like putting pressure on me. So thanks guys for watching and I'll have some more videos coming soon. I'm so excited and thank you guys for being on this journey with me.